let me tell you about something really underestimated and um, you guessed it, tripods. I really like to play with tripods and the reason for that is that you can not only mount your camera but also all uh, a lot of other stuff like lights. Um, basically I now have a new series of tripods and uh, over the last couple of years they've become even more um, they become a little bit cheaper and affordable and uh, most people can now have their own. They are built around this uh, clamp from Ultralight and you decide the length of your uh, legs yourself and you can have different kinds of legs on them. Um, here I have uh, made a system with uh, 7 inch legs. I've added some arm balls and a clamp and whoops, I've added a GoPro on it, which is great if you want to do a time lapse with GoPro or just a stable shot on the water. Um, here I've got a different version with adjustable legs, uh, great for traveling. Um, and you can also set them up quite uh, awkwardly if you, uh, if you have a rocky bottom and uh, you need to place your camera in a, in a tricky position, uh, then that's doable as well. Um, and last but not least, um, I have the video uh, head on it here. And I get a lot of questions about this one because people want to know if they should use, the, use this for their camera, regular cameras to take pictures with. And there's no need for that. This is made and built for video. The reason is that you can do a pan, sorry, a tilt, and you can easily do a pan as well. And not many tripods will let you do this underwater and where it still looks good. Uh, so basically a new, um, I mean, just use your imagination and figure out different ways to use this. See, uh, mounting a solar, uh, it's great for macro. It'll give you a nice backlight some, somewhere from out, from out in the distance, even if your body's too busy doing something else. So uh, go and have a look at my website, see the different solutions and uh, go and get your own.